Thursday, Governor Matt Bevan ordered immediate 4.5% cuts in state funding to all public colleges and universities. The interim president of Hazard Community and Technical College says under those cuts, employees could lose their jobs. WIMT's Callie Rainey reports. Governor Bevan announced the cuts Thursday as House and Senate leaders failed to reach an agreement on higher education cuts in the state budget. Bevan says Kentucky has more than $35 billion in pension obligations. HCTC Interim President Justin Pate says the governor is trying to do the best he can. He inherited a budget that was in very bad shape, so he's looking for ways to save money. I wish it didn't have this impact on our institution because you know the problem now is cutting the funding of Kentucky's workforce education. Pate says HCTC will have to give back more than $480,000 out of a budget that has mostly been spent. He says the budget is used to support all of their programs, but largely it is used for personnel. We have become as efficient as we can be. And it's, it's coming to the point of, uh, you know, the point of diminishing returns when we start looking at reducing our budget even further. And, you know, sadly, it is to the point of looking at position elimination. Pate says if the budget cut increases to 9 percent, the college would lose almost 10 percent of their operating budget. We understand the reality of, of Kentucky's situation and, and our needs. But... You know, these cuts affect our ability to provide for our students and especially to expand opportunity for our students. On Friday, Governor Matt Bevan issued the following statement. Once we get our fiscal house in order, Kentucky will be in a much stronger position to make additional investments in higher education. In Perry County, Callie Rainey, WYMT Mountain News. Now, on Friday, Attorney General Andy Bashir said what the governor was doing is illegal and requested him to withdraw his order. This issue could end up in court.